Uh, Lay's time has expired. The chair recognizes Mr. Ambo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I appreciate the recognition. This is my first committee hearing. Uh, it is great to be part of the prestigious House Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, as the son of Liberian and Ghanaian immigrants, I look forward to bringing forth my unique background uh, to this committee during this important time for our nation uh, and our world. And it is with that perspective uh, I look forward to helping shape uh, our nation's foreign policy. Uh, it is grounded in our values of defending freedom, championing economic opportunity, upholding human rights, and ensuring that the rule of law uh, is respected. I was impressed with how bipartisan this committee was during yesterday's uh, markup, my first one of those as well. I've heard about this committee's rich uh, bipartisan history. Unfortunately, today is a bit of a departure uh, from that, and I hope we can work towards finding solutions uh, on this critical issue. As a first-generation American, I know the importance of legal immigration uh, to our nation. Uh, I also know the importance of not vilifying those who seek a better life for themselves uh, and their family. And so instead of a serious inquiry around real immigration so solutions, uh, you know, we are in the context uh, we're in today with this hearing. Uh, the Biden administration launched a series of foreign policy initiatives to manage migration across the Western Hemisphere and has requested real funding to implement them. Uh, if this hearing was meant to be more meaningful, we would discuss the funding uh, of the President's budget request. We would invest in partnering with governments in the region to screen migrants and support uh, integration. We would fund operations to vet potential candidates for refugee resettlement or other legal methods of migration. Finally, the President's request would seriously uh, fund our border security. If fully funded, our nation would be able to hire 1,300 additional law enforcement officers at our southern border. We would be able to invest in southwest border ports of entry uh, with cutting edge uh, uh, detection technology to enhance uh, inspection capabilities, including fentanyl detection. We should make real investments uh, in strengthening the lawful pipeline of immigrants to our nation, not choking it off. So my hope, uh, and this is just my start, is that we can work together uh, on a long-term strategy for comprehensive uh, immigration reform. Uh, with that, uh, I yield back. Thank you. Gentlemen, yields. The uh, chair recognizes Mr. Davidson. I uh, thank the chairman. I appreciate the witnesses being willing to come back, and I'm quite excited to be able to get in under the uh, deadline here. So, um, you know, Mr. Secretary, 